Okay, it is pretty noisy here, but anyway, technically based on the entry I wrote yesterday, I wasn't supposed to actually come out to do another video, but then I'm like, you know what, it feels too unnatural to just go a weekend without filming something, so I figured, you know, I'll just keep it light and I'll just do one thing, and one important thing, and that was to test the sound issue that was going on with some of the other videos lately, where it sounded like there was some rackety or like some flapping sounds, so I don't know if it would be the screen protector here rubbing against it like this, or if it was the kickstand right here, which I widely suspected it was it just going like something like that. Or another possibility would be the microphone right here and the rubber here. And maybe the rubber was like rubbing it like this. That may have been causing that sound. But I don't think that was the case because like I say, I think it would have made it more of a rubber squishy sound. So I think it's this thing. So I'm going to walk down Thixon Road and maybe like do part of the lake as well. So... I'll uh, have this thing closed and see if that improves the sound quality and hope that that rack thing sound will disappear. If it doesn't, then maybe it's something else like the screen protector or something. So I'll just have to experiment and that's what I'm out here to honestly do. So here's hoping that goes well and that it's just this and not this or even this because if it's this or like the rubber here, then that may be a little bit trickier to fix, but I'll see. So for now, before I head down that route, let me just close this. And we'll let this guy do the rest of the show. Okay, I'm at Dixon. Once we're in front of this, push in the Wakefield for these signs. So now I shall head down to the lake, conduct this experiment, and see how it goes with the flapping sound. And I'm actually going to hold this thing a little bit differently. I'm going to. Okay, so I was trying to change my positioning, and I accidentally hit the camera button. Like the button that terminates it and then it just shut off. Which is quite a bummer and a bane. So now I am walking to the lake. It's really quiet now. Been around in some of my surroundings. Is that Antifa? Yeah, I think it is Antifa. Yes, Antifa confirmed. I honestly don't know what they do there. Now, according to the maps, it says that it should take about 10 minutes from this intersection to get down to the lake, so we'll see how true that actually is. What is that? Is that a barn or a house? Or both? Or is it just a house inspired by a barn? Or is that actually an insult to say that out loud? Hopefully you can't hear me because if you say it, somebody's house looks like a barn, that might just come off of it. And it's not just saying it looks rusty, stale, old, and untidy. So I have to be careful right there. This thing doesn't look like it's very still at all, so it's not a good thing. But then, then again, I don't think most 2013 phones have optical image stabilization on the 4K settings, so go figure. Or does it? And is it just because of my random jerkish movements that's causing it to just jump like that? I don't know. One thing that's kind of annoying me is some of these goose droppings, like, ew. Thankfully there's not a ton of them around here, but I see some of them and I don't want to step in them because that's gross, really nasty, green and icky. Kind of random, but it's about 13 Celsius and 
yeah, it's the weekend, this area is pretty quiet. So, now I'm seeing a lot of tractor trailers and all that. And this particular sign even says no trucks allowed. Well, okay. For at least multiple configurations available after. Hmm. Okay. So, I don't know what you can lease there. Let's look at some of these little plants here. Okay, now I'm starting to see some traffic after it's been dead for quite a while. Wait, I wonder if there's gonna be a bunch of you parked up down there to go to the lake. You know, it might just be that, it might just be people returning now. So I uh, take a look at some of those plants. in the frame oh it doesn't look like they are really hope they're not well the microphone pick up the sound of my water bottle sloshing in my backpack I hope not I think that's usually not a problem but you never know okay so that is William Smith Drive so this is William Smith and Dixon exit there because right now I think you have some residential streets down that be like called Crystal Beach Road or something like that and unauthorized entry is not allowed of course so yeah I won't be filming there anyway but now you have to see the lake and I guess you can take a look at some of the nice lake houses Okay, so right just this way, we're off on trail, it's telling us to go that way. We have something up ahead there, I don't know where that is or what that's supposed to be. A lot of park vehicles. Yes, this is a lake area. That's why there's so many parked cars. Go figure. Because I'm officially at the lake now. Sort of. A couple more steps that will be. Hopefully it's not dangerous. No, it doesn't look dangerous to tell it. The ass coming out there. Probably from the private road. Is he going to the lake too? No, he's not. circle of crossovers and sedans. Okay, the problem here is I'm not actually exactly seeing the lake. I'm actually just seeing the bushes. So, that may or may not be a bad thing. But we'll find out. That would have been a good idea to actually... Actually, I did try to study the map a little more, but I don't know where you go to get the road from there. I if I can come up there. Yeah, I don't know where the hell I'm going right now. If somebody told me, I probably should have just stuck to the trail. I'm just gonna U turn. This thing's gonna be bouncy like hell.
yeah, I'm gonna end up U turning because there's nothing important about here. Oh gosh, that's so annoying. All it was is just like a bunch of weeds and buzzing insects. How annoying. Oh, the kid is having me shaky as hell. You know, I'm gonna stick to the trails until I can see a clear path. But I keep me straight up to the lake because the random bush paths do me no favors. They do me no favors whatsoever. There, but I'm not going to trust it because it might just get me through the same foolishness again. Gosh, you have to go to like Rondo to see Regan or something like that. Maybe I should have just actually went to that residential road and just take one of the shortcuts and actually get out to the lake because over here I'm seeing nothing but just bushes. Nothing to access in this trail to the lake. Okay, at the 10 minute mark, I should probably actually just start a new segment. Because I don't know if it's going to start to slow down or skip frames, so. Speed slow beyond this point. I don't even close to read that problem. Okay, warning. Steep, unstable slopes beyond this point. For your safety, stay on the main trail. Alright. Okay, so where am I? You are here at Thixon's Point. So, how far do I have to go to actually get out to the lake? Because that's what I kind of came here for. Actually, if I knew. Okay, no, like I said, I'm going to stop this and another video. Okay, so I did not get to find the lake. Because apparently, from the Fixin or wherever that was area, you actually have to walk closer to leave the road there and turn the light back and see it. I'm not sure if I'm going to get to see it through here either. And if I don't get anything, I'm going to have to see if I can hear this. So, great. Fixin's Woods. I'm sure we have some text here. I really don't think I'm going to find it through here, but I'll see. What was that?
up there I know it doesn't look like it. I'm trying to stop. I was hoping I could walk some more. I can come up here, see what I can do. I'm pretty sure if I need like a GPS or something, it'll probably tell me whether this is the Whitby side or the Oshawa side because I'm not sure and did I just see a Huron or Stork? Yeah, I'm not sure if you can see it on camera. It's kind of dark, but it's some big water bird. You have to be careful coming up here because I have a camera in my hands and I don't know if I can find that. I can hike these shoes rather than not too much. I just landed on my hand and it stung, so then I'm not going to normal fly probably like something that like doesn't exit if I hear I'm talking about. There's a specific name, I can't exactly remember the name. So if you see a bunch of geese standing over there, who will come and collect it because there are no there to bother them. So they're like, yay, because I can't cross that. I need some really deep boots. So they don't have really deep boots because I was even expecting to be here actually. I was thinking that they could actually access the lake easily from the extended one where it's only to find that I couldn't. So I've been watching that for that long. And yeah, that's what it's all about. I'm supposed to find a lake in there, but I couldn't. So I ended up initially taking the trail, which is supposed to bring you west to Bra. But then I decided to take some other trail close to the Dixie Woods area, which brings you about east. So I guess that's why they brought me out to Oshawa and now I'm here trying to figure out which side is this. Is this Oshawa or is this Whitby? So for that very reason, I guess I'll just have to list this video as an Oshawa Whitby video because it took place in both. I hear some flapping sounds back there. Yeah, some silly geese.
I really wanted to see the Mickey Pose is to take that left way path for 30 minutes, but I didn't want to do that. So I figured I'd just walk along some paths and hope that I find a lake eventually. They did. It's not exactly where I wanted to be, and I don't know what's in my mind. I'm going to fix it so much. That gives you an X scissor mark because I have to go for this. Oh no, not doing this as well because they're killing you guys. You need to see them killing you after that. Yeah, nobody's over there. Like, how did you? Actually, you know, even if you do too much, but actually, it's not like that. It's really fast. You have to come in closer. Yeah, look how fast that looks. Oh, those bees sitting over there looking so smug. What would you be safe about? Actually, no, no, I wouldn't do that. I'd be, I'd be pretty stupid. Like, I don't even know how deep this is. How close is it? Peacefully. I'll check to get up. There's a flies around here. For some reason when it lands on you, it sting. So they're obviously nipping at you. Yeah, I know, I kinda sound like a sissy because I'm commenting on this flies a bit too much. But seriously, I don't know what's on. So where should I show me the video? Probably right about here. So much of the video actually turned out to be a relatively happy adventure, though I couldn't get to find the course in the location I wanted to, I didn't eventually get there, so this is kind of an interesting adventure and I can now confirm that it was just a kickstand as I obviously thought that was making that sound. So now I can just keep that closed tightly whenever I'm going outdoors to make sure it doesn't flap. But however, I have to remember not to forget that because if I do forget that, then there's going to be that racking sound. Now anyways, did you like this video? Which part was your favorite? The road, the forest, or the coasts? Comment, rate, like, subscribe, share, read my blog for information, and visit my Twitter page for my latest tweets. And do not forget to also participate in the polls in the top right corner in the eye circle.